Good morning, my amazing art students. Happy Friday. I am so excited because today, this is Diego. Uh, today we are going to do a really fun project. Now, it's not a mandatory project. Fun Friday means that that is a project that you get to do only if you have the supplies and only if you want to. Again, you only have to do one activity a week to get credit, but we're going to be making some clay donuts today. Okay, so I have a recipe for air dry clay and I'm gonna teach it to you. And then we're gonna mold our donuts and dry them out in the oven and then paint them with markers, anything that you have. And I'll teach you how to do that. So today's lesson is Fun Friday. We can make, we can use this clay to make donuts. We can also use it to make pinch pots. You can make, um, hey, Psh! my cat is tearing up my chair. Naughty cat. Um, you can make pinch pots, and we can talk about that. We can talk about some of the other things that you can make. These make great desk paper weights. You might even make a little tiny one and put it on a keychain. You can do all kinds of stuff with this air dry clay. So I'm gonna show it to you next. Get ready. You're gonna need materials today, baking soda. You're going to need cornstarch and some water. You might need a cookie sheet and a piece of tin foil to dry it out so that we can get to it really quick and of course some markers. All right, get your supplies and get ready. Okay, so you're going to need cornstarch. Let's start with what you need the most. Okay, you're going to need two cups of baking soda. This is the kind of stuff that you put in your cookies, but um, you can get it at the dollar store really easily um, if you're going to the store these days. So um, two cups of baking soda, you have that on hand, one cup of cornstarch, and then you're gonna put that in a pot and add one and one fourth cup of water to it. And you're gonna stir it up with a wooden spoon over medium high heat for, it's gonna, it's gonna kinda evaporate the water. You're just gonna kinda keep stirring it. It's gonna look really wet and really slurry for a little while. And you want it to then start to be like the consistency of mashed potatoes. Have you ever had mashed potatoes at Thanksgiving time? It kind of starts to stick together a little bit. It's gonna kind of start to stick to your spoon. When that happens, it takes about five to 10 minutes. Then you're gonna turn off the heat and let it sit for a minute. You don't wanna handle it when it's too hot. Um, let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then you're gonna take it and you're going to, um, you're gonna knead it on the counter. So it kind of has this, now this kind of has a little bit more of a yellow look to it because I added a little bit of yellow food coloring. Um, and it's really sticky right now because I've had it wrapped in a wet towel because I made it last night. But it's gonna be really fun to play with initially because it's gonna be warm and you're gonna knead it until it's smooth. So let me just knead this so that um, it's not so sticky wet. Um, but you're gonna get a little bit on your hands. Okay, so you have this clay, okay? You're going to take, I don't know, maybe about a medium-sized ball of it, okay? And you're gonna roll it into a ball and kind of flatten it out. Now you're gonna want to stick your thumb through the middle and just kind of start shaping your donut. Um, I'm sure that when you make real donuts, they have like a little hole punch kind of that they would punch out the center of the donut. This is so that the, all the dough around the outside cooks in the right way when you're actually making donuts. But you're just gonna kind of shape your donut. And if you wanna flatten it out on the table, you can flatten it out. Um, 
can kind of make it look a little bit more flat like a donut. And if it starts to like not mold very well for you, you can always take a finger and wet it a little bit, put a little water on and smooth it out. I found when I was doing this last night, it made my donut kind of look like it had frosting on the top of it. But you can take your finger and kind of smooth it and shape it into that donut shape. Now you're gonna take this donut and you're gonna go ahead and put it on a cookie sheet with a little bit of tin foil. You can make a whole bunch of these if you want. And you're gonna dry them out in the oven, but you have to put it in a cold oven. So the oven won't be turned on when you put your um, tray of all your donuts in the oven, it'll be cold. Then you wanna turn your oven on 250 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes to try and get it to dry a little bit faster so that we could get to painting it. If you don't necessarily wanna paint it today and you're not in a hurry, you can let it dry over the weekend let it sit out for a couple days, let it harden, and then you can um, dry or paint it on Saturday or Sunday. Um, but you wanna give it a couple days to dry or dry it in the oven if you plan on painting it today. All right, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, you're gonna pull your donuts out of the oven after, so they went in the cold oven. Uh, at 250 for about 20 to 30 minutes. And you're gonna get a little bit of cracking. That's okay, that's totally normal with this kind of clay. Um, it should be pretty hard. It kind of might still feel a little soft in areas, so you don't wanna um, abuse it too much. But I started to color my donut or paint it. Now you guys are using a lot of these Crayola markers, so you're gonna need some Crayola markers. If you go around the edge, we're gonna make our donut kind of have that, you know, orangey kind of creamy color, um, like as if it was fried. So we're just gonna make a line around the side. See how I'm coloring it. And then I'm, I still have my water next to me, so I've got a little um, thing of water. And I'm literally just putting my fingers in and rubbing that ink into my uh, the side of my donut so that it kind of makes like a, a water wash on the side of my donut. And your fingers are gonna get a little bit orange, but this is water-based, um, so it's not gonna stain you or anything. It might stain you for a second until you go wash your hands. And we're washing our hands a lot these days. Okay, so there's the side of your donut. Okay, let's see if we can hold it maybe by the center. And I think I want some pink frosting on my donut. I can't get the marker top off of one hand. All right, so this one, when I was smoothing it out last night, made it look kind of bumpy. It almost looked like it had some sort of a whipped frosting on it. Um, but again, I kind of speeded up the drying process by putting it in the oven for a little while. Um, and of course, it's gonna need to kind of harden and uh, not be messed with for a couple days to make sure it's totally dry. But um, since we wanna kind of get this done today and have a fun Friday project, that's what we're doing. Okay, so I colored the top of it. And then I'm just gonna take my finger again and I'm gonna kinda go around the top of my donut to see how it's kinda making a water wash. Uh, I don't even need a paintbrush for that, right? I just need my finger. Uh, I think sculpting is really fun. It's just more tactile than painting is. More hands-on, literally. Um, okay, so we're gonna Get this all in there. Trash truck has arrived, of course, right on time. It's Friday. Friday is trash day. We're gonna blend that edge so that it's not so, so there's no whiteness. And there we go. We have our sculpted donut. Isn't that fun? I hope you guys get a chance to do this today. 
It would be really fun to see your donuts. It is fun to sculpt things. It is fun to work with clay. And this is super easy. Now, if you wanted the color to stay, um, then, and you could even color on the inside if you wanted it to drip down the inside, um, then you're going to want to take either clear glue or Mod Podge um, that's kind of a um, collage kind of a paint. And you're gonna, it's like a clear gloss that you're gonna paint over the top of this to keep the color in. And um, you might wanna wait till it's fully dry. But um, we can paint that over the top of this, make it glossy, and you can give this to mom or dad as a paperweight for their desk. Um, put a donut on your desk in your room um, as your donut sculpture that you made. I cannot wait to see all your donuts. Have so much fun today. Happy Friday.